the burgers. <laughs> Huzzah! Huzzah! A what? Good. I think we did pretty good. We were back and we the We yeah. really good with communication and timing. Definitely. Yeah. It's a little crispy, but that's okay. Yeah. I don't think I would change anything, really. We wouldn't change much. Yeah. yeah. I think they did amazing. I messed up on the plating here, so... Oh, okay. It's okay. <laughs> these two. Ignore these two. Uh, they had some hiccups and they overcame them. They got in under time. I looked great. I can't wait oh. to hear what the judges think. You know you know it's gonna be a good burger when they give you a napkin to dab up when you're done. We're not playing, we're going straight in. This is the Robinson Knight. I don't know what they call it. I'll tell you what I call it. I call it a mouthful, it's a double hand drip. Single patty, we'll let that slide. But you know, they've got the Nola on that patty. The jerk, it's got a grilled pineapple. It's got the zing inside the coleslaw on a brioche bun. I mean, I'm licking my lips. I feel, I, I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel like, oh, shut up. It's like my mama slapped a pause in me. When you bite this burger, you get an overwhelming rush of sweetness from that pineapple, almost to the point where you're like, wait a minute. But then it starts to warm up from that voodoo jerk, and that savory beef flavor comes into play with that Nola. And I, I gotta tell you, that Nola is working magic on the beef. The crispness of the coleslaw and the zing gives it just the right amount of kick. This, this is a fantastic, fantastic burger. Got the stamps. Yeah. We feel confident going in. Oh, looking good. That could have went really bad. I almost just burned myself. There were a couple of spoofs little now and every now and then, but still if you're pulled together in the end. It was good. No, I had fun, so you know. You're good, Audrey. You're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah, I know. I let my oil get a little too cold, so my mac and cheese did uh, form the way I wanted it to. Whoa, hey, buddy. I was really hurting the flames. I was just trying to keep the flame down. Um, I didn't want to smash the burgers too much because then the flame would get out of hand. The flame, it was my little friend. Yeah, please. We got Durant High School's burger here. I don't know what they call it. I don't care what they call it. It's a double patty. It's a double patty. Now, don't be confused. We're going to get you a good look at this thing. It's a double patty. We've got a patty of ground beef, and we've got a patty of fried mac and cheese. What? Fried mac and cheese. I gotta tell you, I gotta get this inside the burger. So we're gonna set this down. We're gonna take this onion ring, and we're gonna get this right inside. Now, I got a sneak peek of that tomato. They seasoned that tomato when they put it on the burger. That excites me too. I don't know, more double hand drip. It's a two-fister. It's a two-fister. Let's see what she's packing. Mm. Man, that's a mouthful. The seasoning on the tomato, phenomenal. And when you get to that mac and cheese, creamy and smooth, milding out that ground beef. This is a winner right here. The judges are checking the burgers out now. I would say the only thing I kind of wish it was I got the, that burnt taste after a bit. Like, I, like, I mean, I was, like on the, the char side? Yeah, yeah. it was mm -hmm. overpowering the season at times. I will say I kind of enjoyed it with this one. The bottom bun on mine is pretty burnt, but I kind of liked it on it. Yeah, you definitely had the jerk seasoning yeah. up front, but like I tried the pineapple by itself. I don't taste any zing whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, I must think the pineapple should have been a little bit smaller because yeah. it does overwhelm it. Yep. And the meat ratio, I think, was good too. Yeah. Again, this is another one of those patties that they overworked a little bit. You can tell that, yeah. Flavor was good. Yeah. And it's messy, but I'm okay with messy. Right. It, it was, was, it was attainable messy. Like, it, yeah. was, like yeah. you, it got messy, but it wasn't to the point where you're like, all right. Fall apart on you. All right. right. And the yeah. presentation, I thought, was yeah. so it's, far. It's very, it's very it solid. came out, it looked it's like a magazine. Like, right. 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 I took right. a picture of it. Right. The high temp yeah. cooking that they did um, just made it a little too crusty on the outside for me to bite through. It was a little harder to chew. See, I didn't get the burn you were talking about until that last bite while you were talking about. So it was it. like, <laughs> got a really burnt so, piece. Right. So like that. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> had all the flavors we were looking for. Yeah, yeah. 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 Voodoo yeah. flavors. Look great. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the ratios look good. Everything, like I said, it I looked like a magazine. Food. 
Oh, I'm, I'm on the jerk was, side, but I think it was missed. Yeah. To me, it was missing yeah. the zing. But yeah. I will say this, though, for 20 minutes on all these teams, they did awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this yeah. is another one that came out like they all It's high school. These yeah. kids yeah. did yeah. awesome. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That is one thing to remember. Mm -hmm. They are high school. Absolutely. Teams. This is yeah. just even the creativity and the design. Mm -hmm. I was too. I love ranch. I do too. What about the mac and cheese? Honestly, there was zero flavor. I don't know if they even seasoned the water before they cooked the noodles because I didn't taste anything on I know what they did season. The burger was overly salty. Very salty. My first bite was a salt bomb. Like it was. I mean the crust on it, which was good, and it was fair on the inside. I mean, it was a little overworked and it was a little tough, but yeah. flavor-wise, I was okay with it. Beef needs salt to me. And mine wasn't cooked all the way through oh. to where I would like it, although mine is cooked. It looks it, but it's It looks it, it doesn't matter the color. This is yeah. not a visual, this yeah. is a texture. The presentation. Yeah. 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 Right. If the ranch was on there, that may have been the right thing. Yeah. 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 That may have been what pulled it all together. I'm actually really surprised they made all of this in just their short amount of right. time. I mean, yeah. 20 minutes they, is not much time. So yeah. fast. They right. could have used the, the, the zing or they could have used the, the, the regular season, the Cajun season on that area. Yeah. Yeah. But when I slice it in half and I saw this beautiful, I mean, you can still see it. It's like a stack of yes. layer after yeah. layer after yes. layer. The presentation is gorgeous. Yes, most um, But as far as functional yeah, being yeah. able yeah. to yeah. eat it, that's beautiful. That will fit in my mouth. Beautiful entry. Yeah, it was a good looking burger. Yeah. Great. It's the last of the preliminary round for Voodoo Underground. This is the last group getting to move on to the semifinals where we will compete for full tuition scholarship and membership into the American Culinary Federation. We had a great competition from the reigning champion, Durant High School, and they were put to the test by Robinson Knights. And the winner in moving on the last round of the prelims to the semifinals, the Robinson Knights. Robinson moves on to the semifinals. It's great to be in the semifinals. Like, it's so exciting. Competing in this competition is a very big opportunity, so winning would be like super big and like crazy. My teammate and I were just both really excited to participate in general, so if we make it to the finals, it would be a great opportunity for us. Let me know when you're ready. I'm about to put the Nice, nice. On the next. Sonny, this one's too big, man. Oh, are we waiting on the last two? Voodoo Chef Underground. What happened? Are we having enough bacon? If you'd like to support the Voodoo Chef Foundation in our mission of giving back to the community through food and education, click that QR code or log on to our website listed below.